Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this colorful jelly gel look with press on nails. Keep watching. Okay, so I already started with putting a couple of my press on nails on. Now I know you can um, paint them while they're off. If you have, um, you know, some people do that, they prep them before they put them on. But I like to file mine down before I put them on just so they can look a little bit more uh, natural. But that's my preference. So right now I'm just, the way I put my press on nails, the way that I apply them is I use um, base coat gel and then I, I um, cure it in the UV light. And that gives it a really strong hold. I did learn that from King of Nail from Instagram. Name is Max Estrada and he has great tips. He's like the king of, actually the king of nails. So <laughs> I learned that it, it just gives it a stronger hold than any glue. That's what I like, you know, and they'll stay on longer. So it's really simple. You just put the base coat on and cure it. So right now I am filing the nails just to make them a little bit more thin and natural looking before I apply the gel coat, the jelly gel. Kind of sounds funny when I say when I say jelly gel, but anyway, yeah. So I'm filing them down at the cuticles. Um, I'm not going to use my e-file because I feel like that'll kind of I don't know. I'm just not the best at using it yet, and I don't want to ruin them. Okay, so the gel I'm using, I purchased it from Amazon. It's the Jelly Gel um, Glass Look. I got them from MacArt. And it came with, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So this, is, this video is kind of a review for it as well. It's my first time using it. And I absolutely loved it. Now, don't be upset, but like, you can see that I'm struggling applying it for the first one just because when I recorded this video I was a little off that day a little tired but yeah so when you apply gel you know you want to apply it I like to apply a thin layer um, and make it as smooth as possible before I cure it in the UV lamp but these gels you cure for 90 seconds in the UV lead lamp so that's very important but you want to make sure it's perfectly smooth before you cure it because then it, it gets it's a little lumpy you know but the gel is nice and thick it applies evenly um i know some people have problems with like watery gels but mac art they are very efficient with their gels like they're definitely um a company you can count on if you are looking to purchase any type of gels they have pretty much everything i constantly go back to them even this press on kit sorry guys even this press on kit is from MacArt as well. So this purple, I really like the purple look. Like I'm while I'm doing this voiceover, I, I'm looking at my nails now and I still the purple is so cute. I think my favorite color though was the green or the yellow. I would say green because it looks a little like it can glow in the dark. But as you can see, that jelly gel look has the see-through colors. Like, that's what I wanted. I wanted to see right through the nail. Um, with whatever I use them for, whether it be acrylic or press-ons or poly gel, I really wanted to see right through it. It's so pretty, especially in the sunlight. I 
I like to I like to paint all the nails at once because it's really annoying to paint then cure, paint then cure, paint then cure. I would like to paint them all then cure all at once. So you just want to be careful because remembering that the other nails are still wet is like sometimes it slips your mind. It slips my mind all the time, but it takes a second. And then you start to realize that you can't even touch any of the nails because they are still wet. They're going to still be wet until you cure. That's how gel polish works. So I'm doing one coat for each. I like to do two coats. It still gave me the clear see-through glass look, even with two coats, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. My painting skills are all the way off, but who cares? Okay, so those are cured. I'm putting on the second coat. I don't know. I'm showing this like I usually would speed this part up, but I'm doing one hand. And I want you guys to see how I apply it, how it applies evenly and nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the colors actually, cause I have them right in front of me. So the purple color is called Crystal Violet. This is a soak off jelly nail polish, as they all are. The red one is called Crystal Rose Red. And the green one is called Crystal Green. <laughs> and what else? The blue one is called Crystal Sky Blue. So I'm looking for, like right now I'm looking for, hold on one second. They, in the, in the um, kit, it came with more. Sorry, I'm speeding this up as we do the second hand, but in the kit, it came with more. Um, you have two more colors. So there's the crystal orange. I'll use that next time. And then there's another purple, but it's darker. It's the crystal dark. Sorry, I cannot see that. It's the crystal dark blue, okay? It looks, it looks purple, but I guess it's dark blue. I actually have to try it. I haven't tried it yet. So those are the colors that come and they are so pretty. Like you guys need to see these in the sunlight. I am so upset that I didn't, I wasn't able to capture a video of them in the sunlight. Okay, so now I'm putting on some top coat. Um, it's this one. This top coat that I use is from the Jershin kit. It was the Jershin Poly Gel kit. It's a soak off top coat. That's the same as the base coat that I use, the same kit. But, and I do have videos on that Jershin kit review. So make sure you check out my video on that. But I use the top coat and it's really nice and smooth. It, I think it's really good. Um, other people recommend different ones, but this is the only one I have at the moment. So I can't really say that it's better than anything else because I haven't compared it to anything else, but I like this top coat. It gives you that shine, that beautiful shine. Look, it does cure in a UV lead light for, I would say 60 seconds to however long you want, but under 60 seconds is still very cured. You know what I mean? Like you just, it's still perfect. It's not no longer wet. That's what I'm trying to say. 
So now I'm just wiping off the sticky layer with some alcohol and my lint wipes because there's always like a sticky layer on top and then it, it still it kind of gives it that shine when you wipe it off anyway. I use alcohol. It's perfect. 70% um, alcohol. Okay, so now I'm going to use my honey cuticle oil. This is my favorite cuticle oil. It's perfect. I'll put the link in uh, the description below for this one. It's the milk and honey cuticle oil. It's wonderful. You still want to use cuticle oil because before I put on the nails, like I didn't put it in the video, but I use nail dehydrator and primer and I've uh, fixed my cuticles. So your cuticles are dehydrated. It's time to give them some hydration. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is the finished look. Um, later on, I did put, you know, I be I bedazzled the green ones, not too much, so you didn't miss anything. But this is the finished look, and these jelly gel, um, the jelly gel polish is so pretty. Don't forget, I'll leave the description in the link below. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm trying to like turn my camera around so you guys can see it from a good angle. So don't mind me, but they're so pretty. I love them. You know, whatever you want to do. I am going to be selling these also on my Etsy site from Press One Nail. So if anybody is interested in purchasing them, please comment below and also comment what else you would like to see. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.